Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will cover Vijay Steel Management Trainee 2015 paper with solution, technical paper I will give. This is part 6 of this series. Question is, Bernoulli's theorem deals with the principle of conservation of energy. A is the answer. Bernoulli's theorem Conservation of energy. Euler's equation. Euler's equation. Conservation of momentum. Then, continuity equation. Continuity equation is conservation of mass. All three are important. The power transmitted through a pipe is maximum when the loss of head due to friction is given by H capital H is head supplied. Power transmission through a pipe is maximum. It's H by 3. Head loss due to friction. HF is H by 3. This is the condition for maximum power supply. Euler's equation is Euler's equation we know P by rho plus B dV plus G dZ equal to 0. Here is P official answer they gave B the answer but actually none of these the answer because if you take this one also your plus is missing so B is not possible D is our answer question is rotameter is used to measure rate of flow in a vertical passage then current meter used to measure velocity in open channel this is also important then hot tower anemometer used to measure velocity of gas pitot tube measure stagnation pressure then velocity both are important stagnation pressure and velocity if both are given in option then you have to choose stagnation pressure then venturi meter orifice meter band meter and mouthpiece they are used to measure discharge or rate of flow venturi meter for smaller dye and orifice meter for larger dye this is also important orifice meter for larger dye and venturi meter for smaller dye smaller dye of the pipe or orifice meter for larger dye of the pipe this they will measure discharge and rate of flow so many times asked in IAS exam all are important for all PSU exemption SSC J Bajak Steel Bell Reynolds number for non circular cross sections is R is B into L C by kinematic viscosity. L C is characteristic length. LC is 4 into weighted area by weighted perimeter. So, 4 into rho. Rho is A by P. So, R is V into 4 
by kinematic viscosity from option a is our answer question is at break even point a constant expense equal to profit total sales equal to variable expenses c variable expenses minus profit equal to total sales d none of these none of these are answer here this is the graph versus cost versus volume of production and this red line is fixed cost line then yellow line is total cost and green line is total sales or total revenue line this is our break even point where zero loss or zero profit point total cost equal to total sales at that point and total cost equal to fixed cost plus variable cost this is variable cost tc equal to fc plus bc so in this question they asked break even point where total sales equal to total cost no answer is matching so none of these are answer at break even point slope of sales line is equal to a is our answer because total cost equal to variable expenses or variable cost plus constant expenses it's fixed cost and total sales is q star total quantity of production it's q star at break even point so its slope is tan theta del y by del x so a is our answer total cost divided by q star at break even point tc star by q star in this graph here this q star this is total cost star at break even point what del y by del x so a is our answer question is for a certain tool it was found that the relationship between cutting speed v and tool life t was as follows v equal to 1540 divided by 2.73 plus t plus c if for a cutting speed of 80 meter per minute the tool life is 19.27 minutes the cutting speed corresponding to tool life of 6.27 minutes should be how much so in this v1 equal to 80 meter per minute t1 tool life tool life for corresponding cutting speed is 19.27 minute then b2 we have to calculate for t2 6.27 minute so first c value we have to calculate then b2 equation given b equal to 1540 divided by 2.73 plus t plus c so put the values v1 equal to 80 equal to 1540 divided by 2.73 plus t1 value is 19.27 plus c if you calculate this one c will come 10 then v2 we have to calculate 2.73 plus 
गिवन t2 टू इज सिक्स पॉइंट टू सेवन प्लस टेन इफ यू कैलकुलेट दिस वन इट विल कम अराउंड वन सेवेंटी प्लस टेन सो यू विल गेट वन एटी मीटर पर मिनिट सो फ्रॉम ऑप्शन वन एटी मीटर पर मिनिट डी वाज द ऑफिशियल आंसर वन फिफ्टी फोर मीटर पर मिनिट रिलीफ एंगल ऑन एच एस एस टूल्स यूजली वेरीज फ्रॉम फर्स्ट इफ यू सी द साइड व्यू एंड दिस इज फॉर फ्रंट व्यू इन साइड व्यू दिस इज बैक रेक एंगल एंड दिस एंगल इज एंड क्लियरेंस एंड और एंड रिलीफ एंगल एंड इन फ्रंट व्यू दिस एंगल इज साइड रेक एंगल दिस साइड रेक एंगल एंड दिस एंगल इज साइड क्लियरेंस और साइड रिलीफ एंगल इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे आर रिलीफ एंगल ऑन एच एस एस टूल आंसर इज ए इट्स वेरी फ्रॉम थ्री डिग्री टू टेन डिग्री सो ए इज आवर आंसर चीप ब्रेकर इज ऑप्शन ए एन ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन अटैच टू फेस ऑफ द टूल बी ए हमर यूज टू ब्रेक द चिप्स सी ए कूलेंट फोर्स्ट अंडर प्रेसर ऑन द चिप डी नॉन ऑफ दिस ए इज आवर आंसर चिप ब्रेकर इज एन ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन अटैच टू द फेस ऑफ द टूल दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सो मेनी टाइम्स आज दिन ऑल एग्जाम्स सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कूल एंड यूज फॉर मेसनिंग ऑफ कास्ट आयरन ऑप्शन ए लार्ड ऑयल बी सॉल्यूबल ऑयल सी किरोसिन डी नॉन ऑफ दिस नॉन ऑफ दिस आवर आंसर वी आर नॉट यूजिंग एनी कूलेंट टू टर्निंग कास्ट आयरन सो डी इज आवर आंसर इन सेंटरलेस ग्राइंडिंग द रेगुलेटिंग ऑयल इज इनक्लाइंड एट एन एंगल ऑफ सेंटरलेस ग्राइंडिंग आंसर इज ए वन डिग्री टू एट डिग्री टू व्हील्स आर देयर हियर जॉब इज हियर दिस इज द सपोर्ट दिस इज आवर रेगुलेटिंग व्हील दिस इज ग्राइंडिंग व्हील This is our job. The regulating wheel is inclined at an angle one degree to eight degree. The answer. Question is: When B is the volume and A is the surface area of the casting, then according to Korenov's equation, solidification time of a casting is proportional to. is very very important even if get examination also this question they are asking solidification ts is k into v by surface area square k is the constant ts is the solidification time here in this question they gave v by a surface area as a square so ts is proportional to v by a square so b is our answer option b so many times they ask problems based on this formula so you remember this one this is very very important for get is isro all exams According to Lee and Sapper theory, the shear angle phi is given by relation alpha equal to rack angle, beta equal to friction angle. Lee Sapper's theory phi plus beta minus gamma equal to 
here in this question they take alpha so l2 pi by 4 alpha is rack angle so from option you have to check this one pi by 4 is b is our answer pi plus beta minus alpha equal to pi by 4 b is our answer then Ernest Morstan theory also important Ernest and Merchant theory so many times they asked in gate also Lee Safar theory in ISRO and IAS exams and they are asking Ernest Morstan theory many times they asked in gate 2 pi plus beta minus gamma or alpha back rectangle equal to pi by 2 so this is also important sometimes they are asking problems based on this formula also Lee and Safar theory also important MIS is not used in which of the following application management information system so A forecasting B scheduled scheduling problem C inventory D heat transfer heat transfer is our answer MIS we are not using for heat transfer applications which of the following is the objective of MIS A to keep the information to up to date B to increase the quantity of data, C to filter the data, D to interpret the data, A is our answer. MIS objective is to keep the information up to date. The surface finish obtainable in ultrasonic machining is of the order of USM. Ultrasonic machining answer is A. 0. 2 to 0 0.5 micrometer or micron CLA center line average. This is also very very important. A filler gauge used to check a screw piece be diameter of round object, see surface roughness, the thickness of clearance. D is our answer. For thickness of clearance, measurement we are using. Not measurement, used to check. Gauges are used to check only. They are not used to measure. A filler gauge is used to check thickness of a clearance. D is our A dimension expressed as 20 plus or minus 0 0.03 is the case of, it's, it is the case of Bilateral tolerance. Okay. It's going both sides of the basic line. 20.00 maximum 20.03 20.00 minus 0 0.03 This is basic line. Because it's going both sides upper side and lower side lower side it's 20.00 minus 0 0.03 19.97 both side it's going so it's bilateral tolerance unilateral tolerance either it will go up side or down side then it will come unilateral tolerance so a is our answer which of the following is an angle measuring device? This one also so many times asked in IS and other exams. And this is very very important. A. Trammel B. Hermaphrodite Calipers C. Divider D. Sign bar. Sign bar is our answer. Sign bar used for angle measurement. So D is our answer. Question is which of the following is not the part of products planning competitive strategy? A. Technology leadership B. Cost leadership C. Customer focus D. Endurance 
D is our answer. This is not the part of products planning competitive strategy. Total unit cost is given by setup cost plus tooling cost divided by volume plus variable cost. A is our answer. Technology S curves are helpful in a product platform planning. A is our answer. Product platform planning. The efficiency of a Carnot engine using an ideal gas at the working substance is this one also very very important for problem solving and for theory questions also. This is reservoir, maximum temperature. Source reservoir. This is sink. From source, we are extracting heat Q1. This is heat engine. Clockwise cycle. Heat rejected by the engine is Q2. And this is what done by the engine. Sink is at minimum temperature, T minimum. But in this question, they took this one as T1, and this is as T2. So efficiency is what done by heat supplied. Heat supplied is Q1. This is heat supplied. This is heat rejected. So this is Carnot engine. So Efficiency is what done is T1 minus T2 divided by heat supplied is T1 or what done is heat supplied minus heat rejected divided by heat supplied. You will get T1 minus T2 by T1. So from option A is our answer. This you can write it as T max minus T minimum divided by T maximum. In an open system, first I will explain open system, closed system, then isolated system, then I will answer this question. This system and outside is surrounding. In closed system, energy can flow outside the system, energy can go outside, but mass cannot go. Energy can enter or energy can go outside of the system. And in open system, both energy can go or enter mass also it can go or enter this is energy energy can enter to the system from the surrounding or energy can go outside from the system to the surrounding mass also it can enter and it can go out is for open system and for isolated system this is isolated system so energy cannot go outside mass also cannot go outside so in this question from option an open system a is a specified region where transfer of power and or what would take place not possible b is a region of constant mass and only energy is allowed to cross the boundary is for closed system cannot transfer either energy or mass to or from the 
surrounding this is for isolated system all three are important for all exemption has a mass transfer across its boundaries and the mass within the system is not necessarily constant this is open system energy and mass both can cross the boundary of the system this is boundary of the system this line it represents the boundary of the system Thank you friends thank you for watching my video thank you